What's going on guys? Episode 4 of Road to 230 here. Me and Louie just finished an absolutely insane leg workout. We we're fucking both dead. Yep. This is my coach, Louie Dominic. What's up guys? Well, probably my best leg workout yet. That was a blast, man. Yeah, it was insane. I pushed him, yeah, yeah, yeah. We both pushed each other. It was a good session, you know? It's always fun whenever we get the chance to just meet up, like, kill a session together and really go balls out, because it's just like, man, it's so satisfying when you're done. Especially when <laughs> we do really legs rough. too, man. It's insane because it's so much different from every every other body part, you yeah. know? It's so much more taxing, yeah. you have to give so much more. And at the end of it, you yeah. just have that 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 feeling of euphoria at the end, you know? Yeah, the the euphoric fucking feeling. It's also a bad of honor. Like, me as a coach, one really funny thing is I kind of gauge my clients after I've trained legs with them. <laughs> like, it makes, you, it makes you know a lot about your clients. <laughs> like, uh, what do you how, think? <laughs> how tough do you think you, do these guys really are? Because everybody acts tough until you train legs. <laughs> so like, you've passed the test, you're good. <laughs> there we you're go. improved, <laughs> check. When you die, buy dark sports sweaters too, it says how many were made. So I got like one of the last ones, 920 out of 1,000. Did you know that? Yeah. You, yeah. yeah. yeah it's pretty been, sick, They've been yeah. doing this from the start. It's really yeah, sick. It's cool. I, I find that really cool. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. I, I, it is dope, I looked man. at one of my sweaters one time. Done it. I was like, what the yeah. fuck? Since the last video, he's been putting me through a body recomp. So I've lost a bit of weight, but I look a lot better. I think I said this in my last leg video, but this this gym for legs. I'm not sure about you. I, I love all the leg equipment here. It's like sick. what? All the leg equipment. Yeah. It's just super smooth. It's old. One, you shoot, two, you go, over and over, never say no. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, when I do ab abductors alone, I usually slide. I, I can feel it. <laughs> These guys came in Monday night, and I'm I think I'm alone in the gym because the gym's closed. Yeah, yeah. I'm screaming at myself fucking to get through a set. No, I, I turn up, I, I get up, turn around. Like, There's three oh, guys shit. staring at me. Yeah. I was like, oh shit. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> How's the prep going? The prep? I haven't, start, I haven't started prep yet, but I guess, I guess I'm guess i always in prep at this point. <laughs> uh, the ball's going pretty good. I've gone a lot leaner since the last video. Let's get a show later. contract the hamstring. Make a same as a you can do a bicep curl. Like you don't try to go all the way to your shoulder. You just close your bicep. Think of the exact same when you do like leg curl. Yeah, let's go. Come on, squeeze, squeeze. Think squeezing. Don't go too fast. Just think squeezing. Three more, three more. Go down. Up, come on. One. Two, one more. There you go. We haven't started squats. I'm out of breath. You know, like when you know you get into a, a mental place what? in like a heavy set and you just don't even, you don't remember you have weight on the bar anymore. <laughs> You're just fucking pushing like it's war. Love it. Uh, I do like two quad movements, two hamstring movements, but I, I just, I also do a squat independent. Like I might just, no matter what, I'll do two separate. I'll do some sort of squat variation and like two things for that. My dad was something. I don't, I'm not sure where he grew up again, but he was only there for like, I think 10 years. <coughs> so technically, I'm half English. Done! Done! You got three, you got three, let's go. Next thing, I got five. I got five. Done!
made. Follow us behind you, clean your bench, take your weights off. Dude, I swear to God, we need someone. We need. Some, I'd pay someone. Hey, Mac, you want a job? You want to make some overtime, buddy? <laughs> Do what? You gotta explain to it. You gotta explain to it. Let's see. Me and Louie, we're bringing fucking, putting 16 plates total on the hack squat. Now we're probably gonna do the same here. So you gotta fucking. <laughs> Dude, we, back, back, come on, man. I'll give you 100 bucks. <laughs> 100 bucks. All you gotta do is bring our plates on and off. You gotta keep the pump constant. Oh, there we go. What a good guy. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. The plate boy. The guy. You know, when you think you're done, totally done, you have at least five, five more reps, okay? I want you to fail, and I want you to get up and do it again. Same thing in life, same thing here. If you can do this, you can do anything. A fresh cut before coming here. Threw my hair out again. Didn't like the buzz cut as much as I did last time. It was my second time getting it. Probably my last time for a while. So that changed my mind. Coming to train here, it's just so much better. If you guys live around, uh, where, where is this Saint Matthew de Ballet? If you guys live around like there, Saint Julie, you like you know who I am, obviously. Just come train at CSM. It's a different vibe. It's insane. You always get an insane workout here. You have no choice. Show them the gym, dude. I was, just, I was just staying focused in there. I was staying like raising the muscle the entire time, trying not to scream nothing, just staying there, man. And the pain that was coming on. No, but it's true, honestly. When a girl really wants to push herself, man, she's gonna go to some to such depths that like no guy can no guys can hang with her if she really wants to go there. Have you ever seen a girl what happens when she starts struggling on the back squat? She can still do 10 extra reps after she started struggling. When we start struggling, well, we got one, two, maybe three if we're lucky. Just because they don't, have, they don't have as much muscle mass, it's just it's, it's different for them. Their their body is a more endurance. They also have a high, way higher ceilings as far as uh, uh, pain tolerance than us, because because they're able to give birth. Uh, they're, they're, women are just designed differently. Like we're stronger, but they can go for longer. That's the difference. The anabolic three team has been a bit higher than usual. This guy's fucking legs look like a. Yeah. That's what it looks like in a cross Fucking bean. He eats like two, three meals a day right now. Three, four? Two to four? I tried three. <laughs> but today it's been two. I made one when I get back. These are tired. You know what I think is the biggest difference? No pressure, no stress. I'm just chilling. I'm training for the love of it. I'm not, I'm not going crazy on anything. 12 years of bodybuilding, I still don't have any calves. So I'm like, <laughs> at this point, fuck you. No, but the thing is, usually I do my cows before upper body days. Really? I do them at the beginning of my upper body, of my chest and then back days. Just after legs, I'm just, I'm torched. Basically, this whole it's in French, but basically the whole idea of the end of the podcast was just trying to get to learn like more about the stories and everything in the background of not about bodybuilding in, like in general, but more so about bodybuilders in specific, like specifically. So we're more exploring like the uh, uh, like the personal life of, of bodybuilders. Did you Which, see? Because the whole idea of the podcast was to show that us, it's like, like a lot of us bodybuilders are a lot more than just like stupid meatheads. Like some of us actually have yeah. achieved stuff, yeah. have degrees, have gone through like various life struggles, and. Like some of those stories have been very, very impressive. I've had a fucking recovery addict, I'm like an ex inmate. I've had fucking a mom that gave birth and came back to bottling her in a pro bar. Like, everything, man. Yeah. Well, speaking of icons of sport, you know, like Antoine and them. So, Antoine Frank, Lee Priest, a real, a real yeah. icon, legend. Yeah. Uh, who else was there? Regan? Yeah. On, their, uh, on the podcast they did, I was in one of their episodes. 
It's either you go, you go all out, or you look like a bitch. 